Shalom, Shalom, Kahala, Yahweh, Bashem, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Orak, Kakadesh, Brakta, Yahweh, Brakta, Yahweh, Shai, Brakatham, to the Akim, Wa Akim, after keeping his truth, word, and, um, like it, keeping his word, truth, and all sincerity, teaching the downfall of Esau, excuse me, so like it, the two thirds in his wicked kingdom, and these heathens. Um, I just want to go over a couple things. Um, so we all know about the, uh, 80 million on Donald Trump's head. Uh, we know about this. Uh, this woman right here saying that there's going to be dark days ahead for, for everybody that doesn't understand. Um, it, they're saying that there's going to be dark days ahead for us. Now, I want to show you that Trump Nim knew that this was going to happen because even his daughter uh, just said like a couple days ago that she was going to move out the White House uh, right before this happened, saying she wanted to spend time with her children um knowing that this is going to happen and everybody thinks that there's going to be an attack on u.s soil see one thing that people don't know about iran is iran is very very smart iran is the country that actually hacked the the uh mines and the um the uh it's like it what is it called the it's like where you hold the water in the the fuck what is it called the the uh fuck the dams they they hack the dams and fuck is not a cuss word fuck is an abbreviation for fornicating under the consent of the king so know what you're talking about before you try to say oh that's bad language so it's not bad language um so um yeah they hacked the dams and she's saying get ready for dark days now we know that the rfid chip must be released before the war cracks off so in order for the RFID chip to be released, if all the banks and all the systems are down, they're going to go ahead and be able to release it. So, of course, they want to release it. So, of course, if it's a dark day, because they're saying get ready for dark days ahead. The only way that it could be dark days, death isn't making it a dark day. But a dark day would be if all the power and everything else wasn't working correct. And then they had to release the, what, the RFID chip. They said in 2020 they wanted this chip to be out. Um, that's why they tried to say 2020, everybody has to have the new ID to be able to fly. No, actually, what they're trying to do is release this 2020 uh, RFID chip so that people get this mark. You have to have this mark. You have like, well, you don't have to have this mark. <laughs> You're going to have to have this mark to buy, sell or trade. That's the that's the law. But once you get this mark. You are not welcome to get into the kingdom. As a matter of fact, you might as well just go ahead and say, fuck it, kiss your ass, but goodbye, because you're going to get the nuclear destruction. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video. Then I'm going to show you uh, about Ivanka Trump or whatever the fuck her name is. And I'm going to show you also about how Iran is the best when it comes to fucking terrorist attacks in the in the computers. پدرم افتخارش این خانواده های سربازان آمریکایی در غرب آسیا که شاهد ذلت آمریکا در نبردهای سوریه، عراق و لبنان و افغانستان و یمن و فلسطین بودند در انتظار مرگ فرزندانشان روزهایشان را سپری خواهند کرد. اللهم فاعل درجاتهم واحشرهم مع محمد وآله الطاهرين وألحقنا بهم وارزقنا الشهادة في سبيلك يا مولاي الحمد لله الذي أكرم المستشهدين في سبيله الحمد لله الذي رزقنا الشهادة في سبيله الحمد لله الذي رزقنا الجهاد في سبيل الإسلام Slack it, that's not even the video I wanted to get um, Bear with me Here we go With his remains now back in Iran The numbers on the streets looked genuinely remarkable This is a country which has ways of ensuring the desired image is presented and it is a regime under pressure at home. But still, this was quite a display. As the images were broadcast live, Iran's foreign minister on Twitter was goading the American president. 
Have you ever seen such a sea of humanity in your life, Mr. Trump, he said. Do you imagine you can break the will of this great nation and its people? The star speaker was the assassinated general's daughter. Crazy Trump, arrogant and a plaything of Zionism. Don't think that everything is over with my father's martyrdom. My father had a father who stood by his side, and we too, like our father, will stand by him. Allahu Akbar. The country's supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, led the mourning. Soleimani was effectively his dad where he cultivated the Iraq representative. Behind the smiles and the phone calls, though, we have no idea if anything positive emerged. In dark days to come. Watch this. Let's see. Y'all talking about... Welcome to the future of real estate investing. Let's talk about dark days. Let's talk about dark days. Iranian hackers infiltrated computer software that controls the floodgates of this Rye, New York dam, just 20 miles outside of New York City. A former U.S. official familiar with the investigation revealed the classified details from 2013, first reported by the Wall Street Journal. Paul Rosenberg is mayor of the village of Rybrook. Well, what it says to me is, you know, they're looking at everything. Was this a dress rehearsal for something larger? It also makes me concerned about the security of our inf infrastructure that is significantly more critical than the Bowman Avenue Dam. Investigators believe the intruders were just probing to see what they could get into, but no damage was done. I Cyber warfare, the most extensive attack on American banks ever, launched from the Middle East, happening right now. Citigroup, J.P. Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, U.S. Bancorp, and today PNC. America's biggest banks, with millions of American families locked out of their accounts online. So what does it mean for your money? Who's behind it? How long has it been happening? Officials across the government are tracking the attacks, working to keep them from becoming financial nightmares. ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas starts us off. Tonight, the financial and banking industry is on high alert as a massive cyber attack remains underway. Potentially millions of customers trying to bank online this week blocked. Among the targets, Bank of America, PNC, and Wells Fargo. There is an elevated level of, of threat. There's, there's, the threat is now high. Sources tell ABC News it's a denial of service attack, where hackers from the Middle East have secretly commandeered thousands of computers worldwide. Those computers, or zombies, have overwhelmed bank websites with a barrage of electronic traffic. Mm -hmm. Different banks have been targeted on different days. All right, that's that. <laughs> جريمة إلكترونية جديدة ارتكبتها إيران مسرحها شركة أروتيك أسوشيتس في ولاية فرمونت الأمريكية حيث قام محمد سعيد عجالي وهو رجل أعمال بتجنيد محمد رضا زرقا لإختراق حواسيب الشركة وسرقة برامجها وإعادة بيعها للجيش والحكومة والجامعات الإيرانية وتضم الجريمة متهما ثالثا يدعى نيما غولستاني أوقف في تركيا عام 2013 وأقر باشتراكه في العملية لكنه سلم لإيران ضمن صفقة لتبادل السجناء مطلع عام 2016 شملت تحرير أربعة سجناء أمريكيين لدى طهران مقابل سبعة إيرانيين لدى واشنطن وبحسب قرار الإدانة في جريمة فيرمونت فإن متهمين سرقوا عام 2012 I think you guys are getting the gist of what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> yo, I'm saying you Iranian has fucked us up. You know what I mean? And that's funny because that says 144. Ain't that the spirit? Let's watch that. Our ABC 7 I team has learned tonight that Indiana government computers were among those infiltrated by Iranian hackers, one of the largest cases ever charged by the Justice Department. We have details tonight from Eyewitness News investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy. Alan, the Iran cyber attack was underway for years, according to federal law enforcement, from 2013 until late last year. Thousands of college professors here in the U.S. and around the world were among those hacked, along with university computers. And tonight, the I-Team learning that Iranian hacking teams pre uh, penetrated computers in Indiana state government offices and at the Indiana Department of Education. This indictment alleges that the defendants worked on behalf of the Iranian government. Specifically, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. 
The U.S. is halfway around the world from Iran, but federal law enforcement officials tonight say hackers in Tehran successfully targeted the Indiana State computers 6,500 miles away. The Indiana computers were among government and business systems hacked for years by these nine men, according to U.S. prosecutors, allegedly led by this man, now facing charges of computer and wire fraud, conspiracy, and identity theft. Authorities say they hacked the emails and files of at least 100 100,000 university professors around the world, stealing their login credentials and accessing university databases and college library systems. At the crux of this case is the fact that the government of Iran systematically and methodically hacked into our country's computer networks with the intent to steal as much information as possible. The U.S. Department of Labor, the United Nations, and the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission were also hacked by Iranian suspects, according to federal agents. The U.S. colleges that were infiltrated are among... U.S. Department of Labor, if that ain't letting you know right there that you ain't... <laughs> that they could get your money, I'm telling you, it says dark days. What do you think that... Oh, fuck, dark days, hold on. Ooh. This was days ago. Uh, is her daughter's name Ivanka Trump? Let's see. Uh, this month. Here we go. Boom. Look at you. You do things your way. With the power of the stock market in the palm of your hand. Are you planning, because I know um, your father's facing re-election, if he does win, are you going to stay here in Washington? Do you plan to be part of the administration? I am driven, um, first and foremost, by my kids and um, their happiness. So that's always going to be my top priority and, and that's, um, my decisions will always be flexible enough to ensure that, that their needs are, are being considered um, first and foremost. So, so they will really drive that, that answer for me. I think for me, I, I came down here, it's about the impact. Um, it's about being able to deliver for the forgotten men and women that I met over the course of two years as I campaigned around this country and over the last two and a half years as I've traveled to almost every state in this nation. It's about providing pathways to opportunity. Our policies have created a pro-growth environment, whether it's tax reform, deregulation, um, elements like the child tax credit that have afforded parents the relief they need to make the investment that's so important in I hear you their say families. unfinished business, and it makes me think you oh, want to keep working. Oh, it's here. always unfinished. I mean, we've done so much, um, but it's it's not enough yet. One of the things I'm, I've been most proud of is some of the work we've done around catalyzing the private sector to step up and invest in the skills and potential of American workers across the nation. 14 million Americans will benefit from the pledges of over 350 companies to invest in their skills. It is incredible. That's 14 million lives improved. When you look at the stats about the prosperity that has been created by this president, one of the statistics out of so many that really just excites me and, and, and drives me each and every day is the fact that over the past year of all the new jobs created and 7 million jobs have been created since the president took office, of all the new jobs created, 43% of them were secure. None of this shit makes sense because fucking she's leaving the office and the 17 or 14 million people, you're not going to get the fucking jobs just to let you know because of the shit that's going on. Uh, this this country will eventually go to war, but they must give out the RFID chip first. Let's go ahead and get it.
Let's just go this month on what's been put out. These are all the people that want to do. Let's see. Mike Bloomberg built a business tens of thousands of jobs strong. As mayor, he helped rebuild the city. We just started a new decade. Time to talk about things we should not do anymore. If we ever did. Gritty YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent. With a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe, you will always sit in the first row. These are just my five cents. I'm sure you will add a ton of other things in the comments. To start this topic, we have to find the most valuable word. You think it is not only one word? Maybe money? Or health? What do you think? For me, unfortunately, these two words are interconnected. For year and May, at my age, I clearly is time. That is why I script my videos to optimize the efficiency factor, which is defined. Well, you see, money and health ought to go together. And why are they trying to release the RFID chip? Hmm, for your money mm. and to check up on your health. Hmm, ain't that interesting? Well, I think I might just go ahead and end the video there. Uh, I believe there's one more thing that I have to release. Um, I think, let's see. Hmm. Let's see what this video is. Just real quick. I ain't never seen it, so I'm, I just want to see. that before but before that just made me remember something that i was watching a second ago that i need to put on before we go ahead and just finish this up and it was the uh and it's interesting that it's not up on here why is that up oh, there we go let me start it from the beginning 
uh, unpredicted decisions with unpredictable consequences. And From Studio 4 in the world headquarters of RT America in our nation's capital, this is the News with Rick Sanchez. And hello again, everybody. I'm Rick Sanchez. You know, tonight the world is in turmoil. And by the way, those are not my words. Those are the words of the Secretary General of the United Nations, who held a news conference this morning to echo what really most of us... All right, so that Grey State movie, they just was talking about the United Nations. So all this stuff is happening too. So this is kind of crazy. Let's put it together. He said, we are, quote, now living in dangerous times. And then he went on to say that the countries are taking, quote, uh unpredicted decisions with unpredictable consequences and a profound risk of miscalculation this from the united which uh it's not unpredicted and it's un not unfound or uncalculated because it's all calculated by yahweh by shim yao shai and for you people that are watching this that aren't of color that may be of you know israelites because you do have confused faces out there or slaki on that not confused shame face um you do, we do have people out there that are Israelites that look Chinese, look Filipino, look so-called white, look so-called Haitian, or, well, Haitians are part of it, look so-called African, like a Hamite. But for the remainder of you, yes, just because, and I'll let you know, because there are people in Jamaica that look like they're Jamaicans that had slaves. Those people will be going into slavery. There are Gadites that had slaves, which realistically, some of those Gadites are fucking Mongolians. And they will be going into slavery. Just to let you know, just and just because you're white doesn't mean or black doesn't mean that you're not going to get be a martyr. I'm just letting you know, just because you may die on this side, you may wake up in the kingdom and you may be an Israelite because the spirit is what it is. It's from the forefather. The spirit comes from the nuts. It does not come from the vagina. It comes from the nuts because the spirit is passed on from the man. That's why it says we'll name him after the seeds of our fathers. You women can only reproduce the man that goes inside of you. Just to let you know. Just like if an orange falls on the ground from an orange tree and it rots and the seeds go into the ground, the, the ground would be your vagina, which, be get, which would be reaping and sowing, <laughs> which would get reaped. And then what you sow would be the child of whatever the father was. There is no difference. There's nothing new. Women, you, you're not a Jew. Unless your father was a Jew and you cannot produce Jews unless their father is a Jew and you can't be like he's a half breed. It doesn't work like that. You're not a God. Only gods go into you and only a God can create you. You either getting a God or you getting a devil. That's all you reproducing. And a lot of you women love the devil because you love wickedness. So that's why you reproduce wickedness. A lot of you women can't even fucking have babies without getting cut open. So that lets you know that the most high is trying to kill you guys. I'm letting you know because you can't do anything. If you can't have a baby without getting a C-section, the most high is letting you know, just like in nature, all these people keep going around trying to save these fucking animals. I'm like, oh, well, this animal's fucked up. It's supposed to die. <laughs> that's how the weaker shit's supposed to die. Just like in the movie 300, throw that nigga off a cliff. If that nigga wasn't worthy, throw him off. Who give a fuck if it was a baby? If that nigga's not strong, throw that motherfucker off. That's why everything is creating these weak-ass fucking men and these bitch-ass hoe of daughters that can't reproduce. You women are opening your legs to whatever you can. And then don't forget, your father, whatever your father did, if he fucked up or your mother fucked up, that's the reason why you probably can't even reproduce. Correct. Cause you may get a good dude, like me. I'm old negative. I get, I can get any female pregnant. It don't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? I get any female pregnant. It don't matter what your blood type is. I go and smash them. I can get old negative women pregnant. Old negative women can only get pregnant by old negative males. So when he says saved in childbearing, you think that it's a joke. You think that just because you keep running the Esau and letting them cut you open 
and not taking the bearing part as in bearing your pregnancy and then as in bearing the pain that you're supposed to receive and you keep getting these epidurals and stuff spitting in your howard's face spitting in my father's face bro that, that shit pissed me off spitting in his face if it pissed me off he gotta be fucking pissed spitting in his face like fuck it i'm gonna have this baby anyway fuck it you gonna cut me open anyway you're not supposed to be bearing them kids you was wicked you're a wicked woman do you think that plants grow out the ground and just fucking grow if it's a bad seed the fucking thing dies just like he says a good tree only produces good seed or good fruit and a bad tree only produces bad fruit once in a while a bad tree might uh, let's say a bad tree grows and it gets bad it might have one good fruit up on there you know what I mean? But overall, that fucking tree's horrible. And just because it's a good tree doesn't mean that sometimes it don't got bad fruit. You know what I mean? It happens. But overall, that tree's good. And you women, you think you're getting away, you busting that pussy open for everybody. I'm going to say it straight up. You busting that thing open for everybody. You busting open your vagina for every dude, letting every dude ejaculate in you. And you wonder why you ain't getting pregnant. But then you come alone a God. A God comes along. A king. Somebody that's worthy. That's speaking. You know what I mean? That's that's down with you. How about you? That's one of his elect. And he gets your ass pregnant after however many years dude's been running in you. After so long. Which is nasty anyway. Because it's like it's like us men are dipping our, 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 our penises into used condoms. That's basically what we're doing risking our fucking lives it's like we playing russian roulette with your coochie you your your pussy like russian roulette you, you dip in your dick in there and you spill you spill some seed you spill some real god you spill that spirit of a god up in there and then this bitch get pregnant and even if, when if she get wicked or maybe she was wicked while she was with you whatever or she was wicked before or whatever and that's why and most likely she was wicked while she was with you this is why these women can't produce the seed. They're so, and, and, and not even just the baby's supposed to die. They're supposed to die too. But just because they go do witchcraft, they take this medicine, they let their self get cut open. Man, you let yourself get cut open. Instead of praying to your high by shimmy outside, you let yourself get cut open to deliver a baby that you wasn't even supposed to have because you was unworthy to have it. But y'all, all y'all women doing that, y'all creating all these devils just running around. All these little badass kids that need to get kicked in their motherfucking mouth and thrown off a cliff. <laughs> and y'all think that shit ain't gonna happen. How about shimmy? I'm sorry, I ain't gonna have no mercy for these motherfuckers. Cause you gonna have little kids. Y'all think that there ain't gonna be little kids with superpowers? <laughs> Is that what you really think? <laughs> Is that what y'all think? All right, man, you better remember, you better move that movie 300. Imagine one of your sons run a. One of your little dumbass sons running up against a little little nigga that been trained by his father. See, that's why the problem why these kids is weak. Y'all kick their fathers up out the house. But as I go on, I'm gonna go back to you know playing a video. But I'm just letting y'all know, shit's in order and it's getting in order. Y'all women is supposed to be dying off. And the funny part is, a lot of y'all women about to get pregnant during Jacob's trouble, and y'all ain't gonna be able to deliver that baby. Y'all gonna have to cut your own stomach out. Y'all gonna die. I'm just letting you know just like that because you're going to get raped. You're going to get ravaged because <laughs> you got the creeps, bro. You got the creeps out there, yo. So you think you think you know what you're doing. You think you are that. Even if you store up on condoms, niggas still ain't going to use it. They're going to run through your motherfucking ass because the devil going to try to reproduce no matter what. So that's what your ass get from wanting to be feminists and shit. You it's too late. Y'all too late. You too late. You about to lose men. When they cut this motherfucking power off, because when he said dark days, oh, they going to bomb and shit. Don't get it twisted. Shit's about to be bad, but they going to motherfucking cut the power off. And when there's famine, you can't get no fucking gas. You can't get your stuff for your coochie. You going to stink. Y'all going to break out. Ain't no man going to fuck with you. Not no real man. I'm just, I'm letting y'all know. We've been trying to warn you. a lot. Of, I've been trying to warn people for years. And niggas be like, oh, you crazy, you crazy. I got own family members punch me in the face, talking shit, saying they gonna whoop my ass. Y'all better prepare, because this ain't no game. Yeah, how about Shimmy Shai ain't playing? So. Nations. Now, take a look at uh, Tehran. These are pictures from Tehran in the last 48 hours. It is a veritable sea of humanity. 
millions and millions of people stretching several miles have turned out to pray and mourn the loss of a man they seem to have revered. That man is Qasem Soleimani, whose assassination the Trump administration has publicly taken credit for. Now, for its part, Iran announced today that it's finally pulling out of the 2015 nuclear deal it signed with the United States, the one that Mr. Trump decided to renege on almost immediately after getting into office. Countries around the world, including... Did that nigga just say renege? Most of Europe have tried to placate Iran to tell them to please stay in. And it seemed for a while to be working, interestingly enough, until now. And tonight... There is another major repercussion from the U.S. assassination of Iran's top commander, neighboring Iraq, a country that, by the way, used to be Iran's mortal enemy, mortal enemy, is picking sides in this brewing war between the United States and Iran, and the side that it has picked appears to be Iran. Iran. In fact, today, the Iraqi parliament approved a resolution to expel 5,000 U.S. troops from Iraq. They're saying, we want you out of here. Now, here's what's really weird about this story, okay? You ready? Upon hearing of this, President Trump tweeted out that U.S. troops would not leave. He said, we're not leaving Iraq. Sorry. Even if you want us to go, I don't care. We're not leaving unless you, Iraq, pay us back for all the military bases that we installed there. But just a couple of hours ago, we heard from U.S. military commanders in Iraq who it appears did not read the president's tweet, or maybe didn't care. They announced, again, just a couple of hours ago, just the opposite of what the president tweeted. Quote, this is from the U.S. military commander in Iraq. He says, we respect your decision to order our departure and will be repositioning forces over the course of the coming days and weeks to prepare for onward movement. That's military jar jargon for, okay, we get the message. You don't want us, we're going to get out of here. In the next days or weeks, he says. In other words, after costs of $9 trillion, let me say that again. $9 trillion. It sounds like Trump ain't got no power, no position. People going to play these cards however they want. So with that said, I hope this was edifying. You know, shit's gonna happen. Don't the bombs and shit is coming. Don't get it fucked up. The famine of the word is already here. Don't get it fucked up. This RFID chip is about to be put out in public. It's about to be it's already in public. Y'all motherfuckers about to be taking this shit. And if you ain't made your how about shimmy out shy, yo fucking stone, yo rock, yo cross, you ain't made him your power yet, bro. You done. I understand you fall, but I mean Everybody gonna fall. But if you still ain't made him your fortress, your fucking bulletproof vest, psh, man, it's... Bro, it's about to get... I, I, can, I just wanna say, because y'all don't really think that these motherfuckers got that type of hacking ability. Did you not see all those people? And I'm pretty sure there's other people that's gonna help out. I'm pretty sure, sure them motherfuckers will bring food to the hackers so that they can finish hacking all night. This shit's about to go down. They already bombed Kenya. Don't get it twisted. They already bombed Kenya. This is, it's a done deal. Shalom, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Brak, Thaya, Hawa, Brak, Thaya, Shai, Brak, Thumb.